This is the place you walk in a perfectly normal human being and morph into a creature of the underworld. so bleak. There's no thought that goes into these. If I was a retailer, I would really pay attention to the changing room. After all, this is where we, as shoppers, make our purchase decision. There is one retailer, however, that gets this right. One, in my experience, and I'm going there right now. Who is this retailer? Follow me. I'm in poetry changing room. I'm in poetry. Oh, what a relief. It's a real delight to be in here. There's plenty of hooks to hang things up. There's a place to sit down, plenty of room, a great mirror, great lighting. It's a joy to be in. Why can't they all be like this? I wonder if they serve refreshments in here. Despite the trauma and the horror of changing rooms, I'm still going to encourage you to go into them. How else will you know whether something fits and flatters you? Remember to take things in with you that you wouldn't normally select. Those things that have got low hanger appeal, it's often those things that look really great when they're on your body. Don't, don't focus on your flaws. Look at the whole picture. Pick the size that fits. Size 14 fits, I'll take it. If I don't like what the label says when I get home, I'll just cut the wretched thing out. No one in real life looks as bad as they do in a changing room. No one. So if it fits you, if it looks like it's going to flatter, go to the till like a spring lamb and buy it. Because in real life, in real lighting, you are going to look fabulous. Well, after all that trauma, it is definitely coffee time for me now. Uh...